everyone, welcome. Today we're doing a series on four really easy repair jobs you can do on your car without having to take it to a mechanic, saving you some time and money. Uh, the previous video we just did was checking, changing your battery. Uh, we also have changing a tire, changing your wiper blades, and then we have checking some really important fluids that you can usually check and add to to your car to help enhance the life of your vehicle. Today we're going to go through your washer fluid, your oil, your coolant, and your brake fluid. So over here we're going to start with our washer fluid. So here's your symbol for the washer fluid. Usually it's going to have this blue cover on it. Uh, if you ever are driving in, this symbol comes on your dashboard warning sign on your dashboard. That just means that you're low on washer fluid. So you're going to pop your hood, look for this blue and this symbol, this blue cap and this blue symbol. Pop this open right there. That's where you add your washer fluid. Now it's hard to tell whether it's low or not at this angle. Your car and most cars nowadays will warn you if your washer fluid's low, but also if you go to use it and nothing comes out, then you can top it off right in here. All right, so that's your washer fluid. Okay, so we're gonna come over and look at our oil. So again, on your dashboard warning signs, if this comes on, then there's something up with your oil, whether it's low, whether you need to change it. Cars are a little different. Some are more technical than not. They'll tell you when you need to change your oil, if it's low, etc. So this is your oil cap. I'm going to unscrew it. This is where you put your oil in, directly into this reservoir. Now, to check your oil, you need to find the dipstick. In this Audi S8, the dipstick is this orange guy right here. You're going to pull it. Always have a rag. Oil gets a little nasty. I always clean it off first. So this is your dipstick. Okay, so you're gonna take your dipstick and you're gonna put it back in your hole. This one's a little hard to find. So you're gonna put it back in there all the way down and then you're gonna pull it back out. Okay. So now you can see oil. This dipstick has a min and a max line. Min means you need to refill it with a whole container of oil. Middle means half a container. Max means it's fine, it doesn't need to refill. As you can see the oil right here, it's max. So this oil in this Audi's fine, I don't need to add any. But if it were in the middle line right here, that means I add half of a container. If it's low down here, that means I add a whole container of oil. So you just wipe this off, put it back in. That's how you check your oil. All right. Okay, again, here's your oil cap and here's your dipstick to check it. The next fluid we have is brake fluid. On this Audi, the cap should say brake fluid on it. Now, if your brakes are ever mushy, feel like they're not working, you hear squeaking coming out of it, check your brake fluid to see if it needs some more fluid. Simply unscrew the cap. There you go. So the brake fluid in this car is fine. You can see the fluid in there. A little bit of yellow tinted fluid. So this is fine. Tighten that back on. And the last is your coolant level, which helps with overheating. So over here is your coolant reservoir. You have a max line, which will tell you if your coolant is at the proper line. So this is the max amount that you want coolant. You can't see it too much in this reservoir because it's pretty uh, thick, white casing. Um, but if you notice a little bit, there is pink hint right around the max line. But you can always unscrew the cap of the coolant, check in and look. There's your pink coolant right there. And I know that I don't need to fill it at all. Tighten that, and there is your coolant. Okay, so we have coolant, 
We have brake fluid. We have your motor oil, your dipstick to check it. And then we have your washer fluid. Keeping those flu four fluids full will help enhance the life of your vehicle. You can do this by yourself. Your owner's manual will tell you what kind of fluid you need for each compartment. You just add it and there you go. You're all set. So I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and head over to my page for more information on your car. Thanks so much. Bye.